Alhamdulillah. I would like to congratulate you and all Muslims for the beginning of the month of Ramadan. It's a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A great blessing to be a Muslim, to understand and to know the purpose of our life and creation, and that is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And to have these great bounties from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he would order the believers to fulfill his orders, to worship him alone. It's a great month. And if we have the certainty in our hearts, based on what we read in the verses of the Quran and the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa we would wait for the month of Ramadan for months and months before. And this is how the early generations of Al-Islam used to do. They used to make dua supplications to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala six months before the month of Ramadan that Allah would give them life till the month of Ramadan so that they would witness this blessed month of Ramadan. And then after Ramadan, they would make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for another six months that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would accept their deeds in the month of Ramadan. So as if the whole year of the Muslim goes around the month of Ramadan, it's such a blessed month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the believers in it to fulfill one of the pillars of Islam, which is fasting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayuha alladheena amanu, kutiba alaykum usiyamu kama kutiba ala alladheena min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. O you who believe, fasting has been prescribed for you as it's been prescribed for the nations before you so that you will be among the muttaqeen, so that you will be among those who have taqwa. Taqwa is the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is to be dutiful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to purify ourselves from sins. That's why the month of Ramadan is a life-changing month. We change our whole entire life by following the way of the Prophet ﷺ during the days and the nights of the month of Ramadan. If we have the certainty of the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Prophet ﷺ said that this month, the month of Ramadan, the gates of Jannah, paradise, are opened. The gates of the hellfire are closed. The devils are chained. That means it's easy for the believers to do the acts of worship. It is easy for them to be away from the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbade them. We have help in which we are eager to do more and more of the good deeds because of the great blessings and the great rewards for such simple deeds that we do throughout the month of Ramadan. It's a month in which we have opportunity after another to have our previous sins forgiven. If we know that we are created only for the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we know that the slave of Allah, the human being, has the tendency to commit mistakes and sins, we are weak. And because of that, the best of the human beings are the ones that would repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who would acknowledge that they committed sins, and that they would ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness, these are the best of the human beings, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in the authentic hadith. We have this opportunity in the month of Ramadan. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ صَامَ رَمَضَانَ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِ Whoever fasts the month of Ramadan, believing in it, and seeking rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would forgive the previous sins of this individual. Another opportunity 
من قام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه Whosoever stands in the night prayer throughout the month of Ramadan believing in it and seeking the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone all of his previous sins will be forgiven A third opportunity من قام ليلة القدر إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه Whoever prays and do the acts of worship in the night of Al-Qadr, the night of power, all of his previous sins will be forgiven. It's one chance after the other in these blessed days and nights of the month of Ramadan. And that's why the believers, they always wait for the month of Ramadan. They wait for it so that they would do the best that they can in acts of worship, fasting, the night prayers, recitation of the Qur'an, dhikr, giving others and helping others with forms of charity, feeding others, and all the different ways and forms of acting, of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do in the month of Ramadan and in the other months also, the whole year. For a Muslim, if he wants to fulfill the purpose of his life, he needs to take advantage of these blessed days. One of the most important things that we need to pay attention to, to start our month with the goal in our life and our minds that we need to be among those who have taqwa. As the verse said, the goal of fasting is to be among those who have taqwa. How can we reach this level? The first thing that we need to pay attention to, to exert ourselves to do, is repentance. We need to start the month of Ramadan with tawbah, with a sincere repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all of our previous sins. Because sins has such an effect in the hearts and the life of the human being that prevents him from acquiring the goodness and the raising of the iman of faith in which we need it in the month of Ramadan. We have the means that makes it easy for us to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The chains are, the devils are chained, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. So this is a great opportunity for us. The whispers are weaker. We have more help to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And fasting, which is a pillar, one of the pillars of Al-Islam, we observe it throughout the month of Ramadan. And this is why the month of Ramadan is such a blessed one. It's a month where the Qur'an, the book of Allah, the thing between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was revealed in the month of Ramadan as guidance to all mankind. And this is what our belief and understanding with regarding to the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fasting by itself, which is an act of worship that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes and because of that he ordered the believers to fast throughout the month of Ramadan from Fajr from the break of dawn till sunset. This is the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He ordered us to witness fasting because it's one of the most beloved acts of worship because it's a pillar of Al-Islam. We observe the pillars of Al-Islam like the salah, for example, like the prayers every day, five times a day. Hajj, once in lifetime. Zakah for those who are capable and have the means, every year once. For fasting, we observe it for 30 days or 29 days. As the whole month of Ramadan, we fulfill one of the pillars of Al-Islam. It's a great bounty that we get to fulfill the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to understand the purpose of our creation. We need to follow the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam throughout the days and nights of the month of Ramadan to be able to acquire the best of the rewards. And this is the certainty that has to be present in the hearts. But the first thing that we have to do as we heard is to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. How do we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How can we make sure that we start the month of Ramadan in a correct manner? How can we have a sound and good repentance so that the rest of the month of Ramadan is just a chance for us to raise and elevate ourselves with rewards in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tomorrow, insha'Allah ta'ala, we'll talk about this. How can we have a proper repentance to start the month of Ramadan with? So till tomorrow, insha'Allah,
We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our deeds and to help us and to guide us to be a sincere worshippers, servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu Allah